From getting ejected by touching butts to getting ejected by weird hand gestures, the NBA referees sure have an ego, and today we're going to be looking into some of the craziest ejections done by the NBA referees in history. At number 10, Kevin Garnett's having a blast. Normally when a player racks up two technical fouls and ends up running from the game, they get mad and start to argue with the referee. In a game against the Knicks a few years back, however, Kevin Garnett inexplicably earned a few technical fouls, the second of which came when he and Jermaine O'Neal were chatting during a free throw. After grabbing these two technicals, Garnett didn't get furious, which is really surprising, but instead he just laughed. An early night and a short workload isn't always a bad thing after all. The most surprising thing about this entire sequence of events isn't really that Garnett got shucked, just that he handled it all so well. Nobody got an elbow to the head or some angry eyes in the process. At number 9, excessive posterior padding, if you know what I mean. You've gotta love when little things go down between NBA players when they end up doing little things back and forth, creating a bit of animosity. Well, here we see Grant Hill and Reggie Evans getting into a butt padding contest, one that the referee didn't seem to like very much. Although butt padding is not really considered a bad thing if you ask me because there's no plausible act against them in the rules, but you never know what comes into the minds of those stupid referees. This ref, who looks very much like Neil deGrasse Tyson, decided that he'd seen quite enough between the two and ran them out of the game before anything escalated further. There you have it folks, what might possibly be the only ejection in the history of the NBA for excessive butt grabbing. What is that? At number 8, Tracy McGrady's Coffin Corner. There is no doubt lingering on this call that Tracy McGrady should have been ejected, but it's rare that you see a player get so caught up in his emotions that he ends up throwing something into the crowd, let alone twice. Technically, McGrady didn't throw anything into the crowd, but he did go off and punt the ball into the crowd, twice. The best part about the whole thing is after a mediocre punt on the first one, he got his leg into the second and really blasted it out of the end zone. At number 7, Vince Carter adds insult to injury. There was a long period of time when Vince Carter was public enemy number one in Toronto after wiggling his way away from the Raptors and getting traded to the New Jersey Nets, abandoning Toronto. Something tells me this didn't help him much because Toronto had something in the bag for him. Here, Carter playfully slapped Mo Peterson in the face, at which point Mo Pete returned the favor, but the referee saw Peterson and pointedly tossed him. Of course, after what happened, Carter went to tell the ref that there was no malice meant by it at all, but the damage was already done. Out, Peterson. I guess the odds weren't in your favor. Before we get back into the list, consider subscribing for the best NBA videos on the planet. At number 6, Sean Williams tossed as a fan. Sean Williams had a short run in the NBA, but he did leave behind a legacy that few people can claim. And I'm talking to anyone in the entire world, not just basketball players. After being cut by the Dallas Mavericks, Williams decided to take in a game courtside at Dallas's D-League squad, the Texas Legends. Apparently, Williams was joking about the referees with a few of the players, at which point the referees got upset and chucked him out of the game. He was ejected, not as a player, but as a fan. I mean, that's more hilarious than anything else, to be honest, but Sean, my man, will never forget you. So what did he do? Sean Williams took his popcorn and he went home. At number 5, don't dunk so hard, Shaq. We can all agree that Shaquille O'Neal can get out of hand sometimes, whether it be shoving players or just being overly playful in nature. This is the reason our NBA star has hit the big screen so many times. I mean, I always get delighted seeing Shaq in a movie. However, his acts sometimes prove detrimental to his team in the form of a foul. Other times, it earned him a technical, but he didn't usually get ejected unless he earned it. I think it's safe to say he didn't earn this one because clearly you can see that he didn't do it on purpose. Like why? Shaq threw down a monster jam on Andre Kirilenko and jerked around a bit at the top of the dunk. His arm jerked down on top of Kirilenko completely inadvertently. He was, of course, tossed out of the game. At number 4, the hand check. Referees don't like jawing, but they seemingly don't like physical gestures from players either. Aaron Brooks learned this firsthand in a game with the Phoenix Suns a few years back when he... Uh, well, Brooks grabbed his junk in a way that was, quote, directed toward referee Ken Maurer. Brooks might have not said much, but the intent was definitely there, and referees don't seem to like that insult going on there. And for one, we can safely say that Brooks might have deserved it, although we still don't know what was going on in his head. 
Knowing what happened, Brooks laughed, shuffled off, and waved to the crowd en route to the locker room. At number three, whack, get out. Ron Garretson could be a dictator on the court, and if you didn't respect his word, he would lay down the law and it would be swift and sure. Although that is something Rashid Wallace found out the hard way. On the surface of this clip, it looks like Wallace did nothing, and really, he didn't do much. I mean, he was just acting like a man putting up a good fight. No harm in that. However, after earning the foul and a technical earlier in the game for barking at Garretson from the sidelines, Garretson warned him to cool out and quiet down, which Rashid did. Of course, after Garretson told him to stop staring at him, trying to intimidate him, Rashid did not oblige. Rashid kept staring, so Garretson tossed him out of the game. At number two, Steve Javi is crazy. Steve Javi will go down as one of the most strict referees in the history of the league, and he's probably the only one to ever toss a team's radio play-by-play -play man and a team's mascot. Back in 1991, Javi was officiating a game for the Washington Bullets as Hoops, the team's mascot, incited the crowd against the referees after a few calls went against Washington. Javi did the only level-headed thing he could have done. He threw them out of the game. Fast forward to 1994, Javi was officiating a Portland Trailblazers game when he had an issue with their analyst, Mike Rice, disputing calls from the scorer's table. Javi did the only thing he knew how to do and tossed him. Damn Javi, you really knew your way around. And at number one, Joey gets the last laugh. Kind of. Easily the most infamous ejection in the history of the league had to come at the hands of Joey Crawford. And of course, the world's most unpopular referee obliged. During a late season game in 2007, Tim Duncan was sitting on the bench and said something to Crawford, so Joey C teed him up. No harm, no foul, kind of. Duncan was laughing about earning the technical foul, something that didn't sit well with Crawford. So he called a second tag on Duncan, tossing him out of the game. You see, these smiles slowly fade from Duncan's face as he realizes what happened, with the entire Spurs bench slowly figuring it out as well, leading to a crazy clump of confusion. In the end, justice was served when the league suspended Crawford indefinitely, but it was a huge black eye for the league in the long run. Well, that's it for today, folks. Let us know which moment in this list was your favorite in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video on Triple Double Nation. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.